no accident that sounds like you're leveling up in a video game. 48% of 18 to 29 year olds have an online dating profile. Make them work for it. 45% of people say they're more frustrated with this form of dating than hopeful. There are so many people you can connect with. Should I swipe right? Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. Setting the record straight on dating apps. Everyday people telling everyday stories of the swipe right world with your host, Chaos. Well, I know he had a good time. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Just depending on what time when you're listening to this. Welcome to the most binge-worthy podcast in all brothels everywhere because they're like, wow, that's crazy. At least we're doing what we're doing and it's not quite as crazy as that. Not true, 100%. Not true, but figured I'd throw that one out there for fun. So welcome to the off season and in the off season or between seasons, I guess is a better way to put it. Me being the big sports person, of course, it's the off season. Uh, we're throwing in a bunch of the stuff in there that uh, we uh, left out of the initial interviews. So still some stories, still some stuff going on, uh, something to keep you guys entertained and hopefully put a smile on your face. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, let us know how we're doing on whatever podcasting platform that you're listening to uh, and see if uh, uh, we can uh, reach some more people and have some more people enjoy it and let them know that they're not the only ones out there. Uh, as we're working on season two, uh, letting everybody uh, know that uh, they're not the only ones that attract the crazy and we're listening for their story as well. Uh, hopefully this will keep you entertained. So. You know, there was a lot to enjoy uh, and learn about from season one. And hopefully, you know, in between, you know, there's some more stuff that we'll pick up too. Uh, this one, this one was pretty interesting. Uh, this one, as, uh, him and I were talking, you just kind of understand there is just a lot of, uh, fake accounts out there and bots and things like that. It's, it's really odd, you know, and I, you know, everybody's got to do something to drum up traffic, I guess. And this is one of the, the discoveries that we had with that. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, enjoy. And, uh, If you're in traffic, don't hit that person next to you and uh, enjoy two bot or not two bot. And one more word, of course, from the quote unquote legal department. Disclaimer, the views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions or any entities they represent. This podcast is about dating experiences. It is not to say one dating app is better or worse than another. How many bots do you think you run into? Or how many times do you truly think that that you've seen the, hey, I have a uh, OnlyFans account or hit me up on Snap? Have you, I mean, like, oh man, it's if, if every time I see, uh, well, first of all, I'm anti social media. The irony, of course, being that I'm using social platforms to date, but like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff. Like, I, I don't have TikTok, I'm not into any of that stuff. My Instagram account, I never use, uh, unless I'm trying to hook up with somebody on Tinder who leaves an Instagram account and they say, literally, like, this is the only way. And I've met a few people through Instagram via Tinder, but yeah, you know, okay. I tell you that you bring this up, what I've noticed just recently is I've either been oblivious to this this whole time or there are way more bots and I'm just now getting to them in the eight months that I've been doing this where all these women are saying that they're massage therapists and they list all of these different massage techniques. And the one that comes in is called Neuro and it's N-U-R-U or Neuro. I don't even know how you pronounce it. To be Wait, say that one more time. How is it? How is it spelled? N-U-R-U. Neuro. 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 I would think um, Uber, but yeah. And like, I have a friend of mine who <laughs> happens to be my massage therapist. So I asked uh-huh. her, what the fuck is this type of massage? And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? So you start reading and it's like, they get naked and they oil themselves up and they're rubbing all over you. So I started to see some of those, like those are probably bots, right? So I'm swiped on a couple of these and then you send them the message and it pops up with this big, long, terribly broken English thing about, hey, my name's this. This is what I do. I'd love to make you feel good and release tension. Please tell me what your zip code is to see if I can service you type of thing. And it's like, God damn, there's no way this is a real person. 
you know, this is just a bait and switch tactic where you get somebody on the hook and then they're, you know, you're trying to sign them up or something and snatch credit card info or who knows what, like, at least that's what's going on in my head. Um, but if, it's gotten to the point now where I've seen like straight up, I just want to give you a blow job after I massage you like happy endings included, like that blatantly straightforward. Like that's the type of shit. It's like, that's all bogus. The ones that you connect with that have this, like you were talking earlier and men were, you know, guilty of it. We're not, we're not reading the profiles. Usually we're looking at the pictures and then like you said, if we match, if we match, we'll read the profile later. But the ones that you, like, I imagine you're swiping and then you connect and then you're like, okay, let me look at this now. I'm guessing just absolutely smoking hot people that you're swiping on. Like typically, that have this set up. Typically really attractive. Like yeah. in, in the seven, eight, nine range. Yeah. Of really attractive. Um, fit, you know, in the age bracket too. And, and the problem is, you know, um, when you when you take care of yourself and you take care of your skin, like you can be older than you look. Like mm-hmm. I, personally, that's me. Like I look about ten to twelve years younger than I am. You look way younger than you are. And it's because you take care of yourself. Um I love you. Just so we're clear. I just, I love I mean, you. Thank you. I'll pay you later. That's fine. But I'm not kidding though. Right. So like you meet, you see some of these women that are in my age bracket and it's like, man, you, you clearly, you really take care of yourself. So you, you swipe on them and then you connect, you see this, you're just like, it's all, it's like an instant letdown. You're just like, ugh. you know, obviously not going to waste your time trying to like work your way around. And I tried once like, listen, I don't want to buy your services. I want to buy you a drink. And I like tried to play it out and just see if I could get her to meet for a drink. And I mean, they're all just, again, that's, I think one of the reasons I think these are all bots, but it's like, they're just working. You know, it's like when we're in Vegas, it's like, that's a working girl. You see yeah. one, it's like instantly you just know, and you know, and I'm, I've, I'm learning, you know, the longer you do it, the more you learn. And I'm learning now. It's like, ah, it's just kind of a bummer. Like, ah, what a waste of beautiful, beautiful person. Yeah. Dude, when I see like Tinder to me, I think has the most bots and I don't, I haven't ran into, like, I swear Nuru to me, it feels like somebody fucked up the Scooby-Doo pronouncing of like new you. Like who came up with that? Yeah. It's like, it's like Scooby-Doo saying new you, like Nuru, you know, like, fuck, that's just what it sounds like to me. There's a Scooby snack in there somewhere is where it's coming. But every time I log into Tinder, like the first, we'll say 10 people are just like, you are not from this planet hot. Like I'm not in Vegas right now. I'm not in Los Angeles on the beach. Like these women should not be this hot here right now. So it's bot, 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 bot. And I'm just like, well, what, what is like, there's so many, I don't see that nearly as much on, on Bumble, Uh, Facebook. I still use Facebook because it is ease of use. And actually, you know, I I get a, a decent amount of matches on Facebook. Um, but a lot of it is just like, uh, like bot, bot, bot. So I'm interested to see if, um, I, I stay on and maybe I'll spend more time on Tinder. If I run into the same thing, the Scooby-Doo thing that you're running into and seeing if it's sweeping. Cause I really want to know, like, I want to talk to some of these people I'm trying to find and get somebody to talk to me who will tell me how successful of a, of a conversion rate that they're getting on stuff like this. I, I think the other question is, are, 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 are dudes really that hard up? Like, yes, there are so many people you can connect with so many, like you can lower, if you just try to knock one out, you can lower your standards for the day. You're going to go pay somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's foreign to you and me, but so was this at first. Yeah. I guess that's, that's a very fair point, bro. That's a very fair point. And you know, don't knock it till you try it. Maybe I should just have one of these girls come over and rub me down and see. What oh no, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not suggesting that by any stretch, but I'm just, uh, whoa. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying good on them over there. Hey, go get yours. You know, keep, keep, uh, Sometimes they offer a 50% discount for the first session. Right. And this is when inflation is good. They're trying to inflate the fuck out of something. Thank you for being along for the ride on the Swipe Wrong podcast, where we take everyday people like you and me telling their everyday stories of their swipe right life. Show is produced by Jay Pelham. He is the host of Pelham Place. If you want to reach out to the show and tell us your story, we'd love to hear it. Give us a call. Google voice us at 317-426-6616. Leave your information and we'll get back to you or just your story you can also email us at swipe wrong pod at gmail.com we are on insta facebook tiktok we're out there i am chaos the host of chaotic commentary you can find me pretty much anywhere that you see me and next week the saga continues 
swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. <laughs>